So this is basically the second part of my Overwatch 2 configuration tutorial. In the first part, which I have uploaded last week, I have shown you how to set up your matrix configuration for Overwatch. And today's video will of course build on top of that. So you can use any of the features from the previous video, such as the aim assist boosters, together with what I will show you today. A link to the previous part can of course be found in the video description. First off, some important notes. In this video I will try to make anti-recoil setups with smart actions as easy to understand as possible. So if you already watched one of my other, more general anti-recoil videos, then you may already know most of what I am about to explain to you now. Also, since Xbox and PlayStation do not share the same aim mechanic, it might be necessary to slightly adjust the shown magnitudes on Xbox. The weight actions remain the same, but the magnitudes might require a minimal change. A kind viewer will probably share the multiplier for Xbox in the comments. Now, when we look at anti-recoil for games which also have aim assist, we must always make a decision between two choices. Do you either want to have perfect anti-recoil when you are on target and the aim assist is active, or do you prefer zero recoil when you are not on target? It is only possible to have one of the two, unless you turn off the aim assist. I will later explain what I mean by that, by showing you an example. But for now, let's first focus on soldiers anti-recoil, when not being on target. This will make it easier to showcase the issue later on. Soldier only has vertical recoil, and its intensity changes the more bullets you shoot. Let's empty a few magazines to get an understanding of what we have to deal with. For the first few bullets the recoil is almost zero. But after that, the recoil will increase a lot. This recoil seems to stay for the remaining bullets in the magazine then. So what we must do is to handle this recoil with at least two recoil stages. One for the light recoil in the beginning, and one for the stronger recoil right after that. At least that is how it looks on first sight. After having shot several magazines, it also becomes clear, that the horizontal recoil of soldier is completely random. With each magazine the weapon goes into a different direction. Sometimes it drifts more to the right, and other times to the left. Randomized recoil cannot be removed, so we must only focus on the vertical recoil. That means we must only use one smart action, that covers the vertical recoil. Let's go into the Zim Manager. Go into your Overwatch configuration, and switch to the button bindings. As you can see at the top, I already have a fire action bound to my left mouse button. I must therefore not add another fire action to my anti-recoil smart action. To implement the anti-recoil, scroll all the way to the bottom of the button bindings. Press the plus button to expand the binding menu. Next, go into the video description under this video, and click on the first link. This will give you the copy and paste code for this smart action. Copy the whole code, and go back to your matrix manager. At the bottom, click the paste binding option now. If you did everything correctly, then your smart action will look like mine now. Alternatively, just manually add all actions that you can see right now. You will probably realize now for why I gave you the copy and paste code, instead of manually showing the setup process. The recoil is actually far more complex than it looked on first sight. In total, the recoil changes its intensity 5 times. I have set the smart action to hip only, and the variance has also been deactivated. It is also bound to the left mouse button. So whenever I want to shoot, this smart action will also be active. Let's go into the game and test this smart action. The result is basically perfect. There is no more vertical kick, it's one straight laser. The weapon will of course still drift a bit to the left or right. This is due to the randomized horizontal recoil, which sadly cannot be removed. As I mentioned earlier, on Xbox you may have to multiply all magnitudes with a certain factor. I'm sure in the comments down below someone will share the multiplier. Now while this result is truly amazing, here is the problem we still face. This smart action only removes the recoil when we are not on target. That means, it gives us a perfect result when no aim assist is active. As soon as the aim assist is active, we suffer from the so-called aim assist slowdown. It is a mechanic of the aim assist, that will slow down our sensitivity. Let's walk to the left where Winston is. 
I will now place my crosshair to his right, and then move it at a constant speed to the left. The moment my crosshair gets close to him, the aim assist activates, and my crosshair gets slower. And when I leave his aim assist bubble, the crosshair gets faster again. This slowdown will also affect the anti-recoil smart action. It will result in the anti-recoil effect to not be strong enough anymore. Let me use our anti-recoil smart action, and shoot at Winston. As you can see, the recoil slowly moves upwards. Let me shoot him another time, but after half of the magazine I will move my crosshair out of the aim assist area. That way you can see that the anti-recoil is still active. It just doesn't work when being on target, due to the aim assist slowdown. To solve this problem, you have three possible solutions now. The first one is the most obvious, you deactivate the aim assist in the in-game options. That way the problem doesn't exist anymore. For most people this is of course unacceptable. The second solution is to keep the smart action as it is, and remove the remaining recoil by yourself. So whenever you are on target, you will have to slightly move your mouse down to have a perfect recoil. This is what most people will probably go for. And the last solution is the one that good players will prefer, which is changing the smart action to account for the aim assist slowdown. As a result, the recoil will be perfect when on target. The downside though is that it will be too strong when you are no longer on target. But since good players have good trigger discipline, and will therefore only shoot when they are on target, this shouldn't really be an issue. Plus, you can increase the window size of the aim assist in the in-game options. That way your recoil will be perfect even if you aren't directly on the target. So, in order to handle the aim assist slowdown, all magnitudes in the smart action must roughly be doubled. Let's go back to the Zim Manager. Here you can see the smart action with the adjusted magnitudes. You can of course find the copy and paste code for this smart action under link 2 in the video description. The weight actions and angles are the same, just the magnitudes have been increased. Let's go back into the game. I will now shoot at Winston another time. As you can see, the recoil is once again perfect. This changes however, when I move my crosshair out of the aim assist bubble. When I shoot my weapon now, the crosshair will move down. This is because the aim assist slowdown is no longer present. As long as I am on target though, the anti-recoil is perfect. You can increase the window size of the aim assist to help with this. Or you work on your trigger discipline, so you only shoot when you are actually on target. Let me turn around and shoot the robot in the distance. As soon as I kill the robot with headshots, the aim assist is gone and the crosshair kicks down. But while the target is still alive, the anti-recoil is perfect. Either way, all three options to solve this issue are good choices. If you prefer to use the first smart action, and compensate the remaining recoil by yourself when you are on target, then that is of course also a great idea. Just use what suits you the most. Now in the second part of the video I will show you two smart actions to handle the recoil of Baptiste. Just like with Soldier, I will show you a smart action that works for each of the two cases. So you can once again pick your preferred solution. Let's start by looking at Baptiste's recoil. His weapon is shooting continuous burst shots, for as long as you hold down your fire button. So the recoil is only present for a short moment, and then there is a brief recovery phase. Also, there is no horizontal recoil. So just like with Soldier, we must only use one smart action that handles vertical recoil. Before I will show you the smart action, here is one important detail. To use this smart action, you must activate a specific in-game option. Here is a video of what I mean. Go into the character settings of Baptiste, and turn on the recoil recovery aim compensation. As long as this is turned off, you cannot use an anti-recoil smart action. You can only compensate the recoil if you activate this option. Let's go back into the game. On the right side you can see the first recoil smart action. This one is optimized for when you aren't on target. So the aim assist slowdown is not considered. You can find its copy and paste code under link 3 in the video description. This smart action is again bound to the hip mode, and also doesn't use any variance. Its setup is quite complex because it handles each bullet of the burst individually. 
This smart action also allows you to hold down your mouse button, and the weapon will continue to shoot. So you must not do single fire clicks. When I shoot the weapon at the wall, you can see that the recoil is completely zero. In comparison, here is how the recoil looks like without this smart action. It's not a drastic change, but it can make the difference between hitting all bullets of the burst, or just a few. Especially on longer ranges it can be really helpful. And here you can see the second anti-recoil smart action. This one is optimized for when you are on target, and the aim assist is active. The magnitude is roughly twice as high again. The copy and paste code for this smart action can be found under link 4 in the video description. Here you can see how it does against Winston. On longer ranges, this will result in every bullet to hit the head. That was it for this video. Please don't forget to watch the previous part, if you haven't done that already. And if you have any suggestions for things I should show in future videos, then you can post them in the comments down below. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.